Hey, what's going on, everybody? Movie fan, I'm here. I'm joined by my lovely girlfriend, Maya. And uh, yes, we got some. Uh, we got a movie coming out this weekend. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a wide release, so it should be coming to a town near you if you sound interested. And the movie in question is the Vatican Tapes. Uh, where basically uh, this priest teams up with these other two dudes, priest from uh, the Vatican. It's pretty much like the Exorcist. Yeah, we'll get to the. Re I'm, I'm getting the. the you're right, though. Uh, but basically, you know, these other two priests, and uh, there's a young girl who's possessed, and uh, yeah, they're just trying to force the devil out of her. Uh, Maya just said, it, this looks like the exorcist, and I agree. Uh, that's the, this seems like, you know, there was a cycle, and I'm not counting the exorcist in that cycle just because, you know, exorcist came out in the 70s and whatever. Even though exorcist beginning was 2004, but whatever, you know, that bled into the exorcism of the Rose, which eventually would lead into, uh, oh, the last exorcist, uh, or last exorcism, last exorcism, yeah, last exorcism, uh, the Eli Roth found which I really liked, uh, which is also uh, the Devil Inside, which also bleeds into uh, the Possession. I mean, we've had all these Possession movies come out in just such a quick, and these were all the mainstream ones. There was also a shitload of like you know. You know, straight to video, you know, possession movies as well. And it feels like the Vatican tapes is literally like it came just a little too late. You know what I mean? Like it should, it should have been out two, three years ago and it probably wouldn't have done pretty well. What are you doing? Oh, leave my hoodie alone. Quit patting me like a dog. Uh, but no, it, it looks like a generic fucking possession power of Christ compels you movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, it had a couple of, oh, I, I ain't gonna say stars, it had a couple of names though. Uh, Michael Pena, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he was also in Devil, which is another kind of religious based movie, uh, or supernatural religious whatever. Uh, also, Devil Devil. And then it has, oh, uh, I can never pronounce the name, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt it. He was from Blood Diamond though, he's the black guy from Blood Diamond. And, uh, yeah, they're both the priests in this movie, and then of course they're joined by another priest, and they're all trying to get Satan out. Uh, the trailer, I mean, it adds nothing new. Like, it's just the same thing. She's a normal girl. And I, I love the scene where it shows her bleeding on the cape. Like, she cuts, like she cuts herself, but then you just see drops. I'm like, how is she just like, like, it, it should be instantaneous, but it's not like a quick splatter. It's like, cut, she comes up, and then cuts the cake, and it's just like, drop. Drop, drop. So which means she's like, ah, comes up here and she's just dripping on this cake before she comes back. It should be like, oh shit, and then the blood splatters. It doesn't, and this uh, it's a weird looking shot. Um, but she's normal, and then of course now you know she's talking in tongues and she's levitating, and they're all performing this exercise, and then you know she'll break out halfway through. You know, please help me. There's a weird scene where she looks in a mirror. Just like in the last exorcist, or sorry, last exorcism, uh, where the girl looks in the mirror and she's like rearranging her face or whatever. Uh, it, it just seems like it's you've seen this movie numerous times before and it's probably done better. Uh, the fact that I really, I remember like hearing about this movie. I guess where I heard about this movie last year. I could be wrong. Maybe it was the beginning of the year. I can't remember. But I remember hearing like some hype about it. And then nothing, like almost like, I, I thought it already came out. I thought it was like, it already came out, limited release, and it's already at the local family video. It turns out, no, it isn't. It's literally just now coming out in theaters. And I'm like, son of a bitch. And I feel like it's, it's what happened. It, it probably got shelved for a little bit, and they're like, oh, fuck. And I'm like, oh, we'll try to release it. Why not? I mean, you can't go wrong with low-budget horror films. That's what they did. They just went ahead and threw it out there. But, uh, yeah, what do you think about Sweetie? You saw the trailer? Yeah, it's okay. We were to watch my yeah, I mean, definitely. I, I, I'm saying for me personally, I'm, I would not pay any money to go see this in theaters. Uh, yeah, definitely Netflix, uh, Redbox, you know, whatever you guys do. Uh, <laughs> illegal download. I didn't say that. That's cold, sorry. Uh, but uh, no, it, it, like I said, it doesn't look like it's anything special. It looks like it's just the same generic, regurgitated bullshit we've seen before. Uh, so, yeah. Like the big thing here, the big clincher. I mean, it, it, the interest. I mean, you, see, you can tell her CGI, but it don't look too bad. There's a scene where she breaks out, and like literally, it's just her in the attic where they're performing this exorcist. Oh, sorry, exorcism. I keep want to say exorcist instead of exorcism. But anyways, she and just like it fucking just explodes out, and just she's surrounded by fire. And I'm like, okay, that's maybe it hasn't been done before, but there's nothing special. Like, I don't know, I'm just not. I don't give a shit about that. Like, I don't know. 
uh, I guess now we got Satan involved. Like, I don't know. I feel like Satan should always be involved in these Exorcist movies because, like, when I found out, like, the I, I always assumed it was Satan in The Exorcist. And they're like, no, it's Pazuzu or whatever the fuck his name is. I'm like, well, fuck him. He's not Satan. Fucking pussy. So I don't know. I just feel like it should always be Satan. So now they're like, oh, the Antichrist. And I'm like, good. Fine. We got Satan. We got we got, we got OG, you know, ready to you know, wreak havoc on the earth. So, uh, But yeah, that just looks generic to me. It just looks like, eh. It looks like it should be straight to video or on the Chiller channel. I'm not trying to bash Chiller channel, sorry. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. You know, if you guys uh, think this actually looks good, let me know. I mean, these are just my opinions. I never claim to be, and I know I come off as a critic, but I'm just a guy like you, you know. I'm just a person who just loves horror movies, and this is just my opinion. I want to know your opinions are. So yeah, hit me up, and you know, you can drop a comment down below, or hit me up on Facebook, or whatever. Make your own angry rant. Like, is there Phantom? The back and pants rule! And this movie's gonna be great! You can you can do that. I'm okay with that. I would love to see that video actually where someone just like flips out like listen here. Listen here, fucker. I love back and takes and it looks scary. And I'm gonna shit my pants in the theater. You have no right to make fun of it. <laughs> I hope someone does that. I really do. I, I beg you know what? Kudo, you got commitment to this movie and I hope it does well. I hope it does well. I mean I never really wish ill when it comes to horror films. Like I'm always hoping like the next Transformers bombs or I don't know, whatever Nicholas Sparks horrible fucking movies coming out, I just hope it bombs horribly, but this is like, when it comes to horror movies, like even if I don't agree with the horror movie, I guess this is another generic whatever, I still, oh, really, I'm sorry, it was Nicholas Sparks, oh, okay, I'm bleeding, I'm dying, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short, guys, she killed me, so, uh, so yeah, movie fam here, my, 